that sound. Ah. I made a little iced mocha. I'm very, very tired. My under eyes are absolutely doing bits right now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a skincare product. Now, I do not talk a lot about skincare products on my channel, maybe like here and there, but this is the Dr. Jar Ceramide Skin Barrier Serum Toner. So with this toner, I don't put it on a cotton pad or anything like that. I just pop it onto the hands and then I whack it onto the face. A little while back, I was really struggling with texture on my forehead and I just didn't know what was triggering it, right? But then I was actually sent this in PR. This apparently is meant to help repair your skin's barrier. So when I heard that, I thought, you know what, let me give it a go because it might help my forehead. I am not joking. I think it's cleared on my forehead. Maybe my skin was disturbed. You know, my skin's barrier was affected. This has basically become my new serum toner and I adore it. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. And as you can see, your girl loves Estee Lauder Daywear. I change around my moisturizers depending on what is going on with my skin really. The Estee Lauder Daywear Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream is just that girl. And it always kind of reminds me of like fresh cucumber. I'm gonna be taking the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray. If you follow me on here for a while now, you may look back in a lot of my videos and notice I've used this for such a long time. It does have little particles in there. Now I found some of the sprays like this, they, end up looking a bit chunky, a bit glittery, and I absolutely hate them, and they look disgusting on the face, and it just ruins my makeup. Whereas this one I have found doesn't do that. It just makes my skin look glowing. If you just want the look of a hydrated skin, then opt for something like Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set or MAC Fix Plus. But when I use this before doing my makeup, I just feel like it makes my skin look so nice. I'm gonna grab that spray, and I'm actually gonna put this on first before I apply any of my products. Also, if you just want to look really fresh on the skin, apply this onto your face, do your eyebrows, put a bit of concealer on and you're good to go. This glowing skin is literally just from skincare and a spray. I'm gonna go with my BFF face frosting from Pink Honey. Can I just say a huge thank you to everyone who left me such an incredible comment on my last video. If you haven't seen it, it's basically just like a little get rid of me, but I'm kind of talking about my YouTube journey. I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, if you left a comment on that video, like thank you so much because I am not joking when I say some of them comments gave me tears in my eyes. I feel so thankful that I've got such incredible loving people who follow me. I'm just creating like a little bit of warmth to the skin. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a softer blending brush now i got all these brushes from tiktok shop maybe i'll make sure i had like a little sound on. so if you see me looking here it's because i've actually got my mirror down there so i can see what i'm doing even though i'm doing like this monthly favorite showing you all the products that i've been using i just feel like in the winter time i try to go for much more dewy radiant skin whereas in the summer i'll go for a glow but i want certain areas to be like really matte like my under eye the t-zone i don't really want them to be as glowing and i just really want my makeup to be a bit more long lasting in summer this is the urban decay quickie concealer first time i ever tried it was when i got my makeup done at boots at covent garden um in one of my makeup counter series videos that i do and i then got it that day but in a darker shade because it felt like it's turning a bit too light and this is the shade 50 nn which is like a neutral shade and i just feel like the coverage on this is so nice so what i do is i just do a little dot there there on the nose under the eye by the way if you see me use these real technique brushes just know i actually have quite a few of them and they are one of my favorite brushes of all time and i've had them in my makeup bag for years now so if you see me use this for concealer and then see me use it for powder later just know they are actually two different brushes this is the setting brush by the way so as you can see i'm just going around and the only reason I'm putting something on, on my jawline um, is because sometimes I get a little bit of breakout on the chin. And then also it'll just bring the colour together. For those of you who don't know, I have six nieces and nephews, three boys, three girls. And um, we're taking two of them pumpkin picking this week. So that'll be really exciting. I've never been pumpkin picking. And I know it is such the influencer thing to do to go and take a photo at a pumpkin patch place. And I've literally never done it. So I feel like I'm actually going to be like a proper influencer <laughs> taking <laughs> a pumpkin photo. I, I know that sounds so stupid doesn't it like oh influencer pumpkin <laughs> i mean i don't know if i'll share it on my instagram i don't know i might share some on my stories i have no idea i'm just going in with a tiny bit more on my under eyes because i hate my under eyes i feel like you know everyone has little things that they just wish they could change and my under eye discoloration is one of them now i'm gonna go in my little beauty sponge this is slightly damp this is from fine 
Um, they're like a really well-known brand on TikTok, if you haven't heard about it. And I'm just basically going to go in and just push that all into the skin, make sure it's really nice and seamless. Okay, another thing I've been using recently is my Cariad with Pink Honey Collection Angel Corrector, this little thing here. I feel like it really just brightens my under eye. However, this week I purchased the Fine Concealer and I did get it in quite a light shade. I did do a TikTok video on it, like a first impressions. Normally I would use this and this is what I've been using, but for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to use this because I did buy it in a lighter shade that I just feel like I'm going to end up using this more as a highlighting shade now, if that makes sense. Because I purchased this concealer, I'm trying to use this one a little bit more now. Guys, this is shade 14 and I was going to get shade 9. I'm so glad I didn't get shade 9 because look how bright this is. What is your all-time favorite concealer if i had to pick one to use for the rest of my life it'll be born this way um like the multi sculpting concealer from Too faced like that is literally my go-to i have been loving a little bit of the house of labs loose powder this is in translucent i really want to try their foundations i've had really good things but yeah i'm gonna go for the powder so i look down and i get in all the little creases all the little nooks and crannies of the face this has such a nice blurring effect to the skin. I also run it on top of my eyebrows because they get a little bit shiny and I don't want them to be shiny before I put product in them. Laugh lines. I know a lot of people were excited for autumn and I'm glad like we can get cozy and stuff and it's easier to go to sleep now it's not so hot. But, oh, I just hate these dark mornings and dark evenings and we're not even in the moment where it's actually going to get like that dark just yet <laughs> and i'm already complaining a tiny bit more just along the nose so that when i do my nose contour it kind of helps diffuse it yeah honestly i've been really struggling with these um dark mornings in my head when i wake up and it's still dark i'm like oh it's not time for me to get up yet but my brain is like no we need to get up so as we're approaching winter i'm going for stuff a little bit lighter like this and i also feel like it looks quite nice on the skin it doesn't kind of compete with the blusher either and i just feel like it looks really soft so I'm just going to go into this. By the way, this is the Chocolate Salil. I don't know if they have different shades in this, but that's the front of it. I don't know if that would be like medium or light. I don't know. See, look, it already looks like enough. Do you know what I mean? And all I'm doing is I'm going to keep the cheekbone here dark and the temple dark, but then all where I've applied the cream bronzer, I'm just going to press on top, set it in place, and then underneath the cheekbone, underneath that jaw. I love a little bit of bronzer underneath the jaw because it just helps blend in the chin do you know what i mean this is a zoeva 109 brush all the way down and then right there it smells so good as well it actually smells like chocolate and then i just take it into the socket as well and i will not leave it like that just to diffuse out we take the setting brush and we just run it on top i'm gonna do one side just so you can see the difference now look at the difference in that. That's why I just keep that loose powder there because it really just helps diffuse that contour. When I really want my under eye to look so smooth, yeah? Like I'm talking no pores, nothing. Then I'll go in with the KVD Lock It Powder. I use medium 150. Gonna use my little sponge and then I'm just gonna go along, look up so I can get all the little creases. Having creases on your under eye is completely normal. That under eye is just, ugh, makes my soul happy. Onto that chin. Now I'm gonna take the brush that I use for the powder and we are just gonna blend everything in. So just go around with your brush and just start to smooth everything so that it all just blends in nicely. Do have texture, skip this step. Because sometimes if you've laid down that product and you go in and you buff, 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 you might move some of it or you might create like flakiness on the skin. So if you've got any dry patches or if you've got like any sort of breakouts and stuff like this, just skip this step, all right? This little product I've fallen back in love with and I don't know why I stopped using it to be honest with you. This is the Iconic London Silk Glow Duo, okay? So you've got the blush and you've got the highlighter, but the blush does have some sort of pearlescent glow to it. It is not matte. This is in the shade Rose Glow. So I'm just gonna take this one first of all and we're gonna apply it on the tops of the cheek I'm doing the tops of the cheeks because I want it to kind of like sculpt the face. Obviously, depending on where you put your blush, I will depend on the sort of look you're getting. I'm also going to put a tiny bit on the nose, just like that. Then I'm taking Kylie Jenner's Pink Power Blush, which is a really pale, like cool toned pink. And I'm just doing that underneath the eye. So it kind of blends into our rose pink shade. See the difference, how it just kind of like ombres and just naturally fades out compared to this one. I feel like if you look at that one, there's a little bit more of a harsher separation here. 
I mean, these are all little minor things and many people wouldn't even notice it. They're just like, oh, nice blush. It will just make the makeup look way more smooth, more seamless, more polished. Do you know what I mean? And that is the blusher done. I'm now going to use the highlight. And I'm just going to kind of put that highlighter pretty much all on top of the blush I really in like a c shape i just feel like depending on what i'm wearing the makeup for like sometimes if i'm doing like photos i like to just apply the highlight in certain areas like just little parts if i'm doing like a whole look like this and i just want my skin to look great then this is what i'll do and then i will put some above the eyebrows as well on top of that cupid's bow grabbing my finger and just running it down the bridge of the nose like that a little bit onto the eyelids okay this is the face i'm gonna go quickly ahead um what? What am I even saying? I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. Now I'm going to put on some eyelashes. Recently I have been using a lot of tatty lashes and a lot of kiss lashes. But today I have some brand new ones from Juvia's Place that I want to try. Because I recently done a little bit of work with them on their Afro Galactic. Which is this. Hold on. This little palette. This is so gorgeous and really just sparked my creative side when I got this. Do you know what? I'm actually just going to take a little bit of... Some of that shade and just put it on my eyelids because I cannot help myself, clearly. I just really like this palette because it kind of just sparked my little creative side because it had so many nice little colours in there. No, I'm not being paid to say this. I don't have to mention it in this video whatsoever. This obviously is not something I have been using a lot of. Um, but eyelashes do change for me. I do switch them up a lot. Everything else though I have actually been using all the time. When they do it like that though, I don't know what is the inside and the outside. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this being the inside. I feel like Juvia's Place is such a good brand. Like, their pigmentation in their eyeshadows is just 10-10. Like, I was getting a little bit bendy, lads. Okay, I'm just going to look down and measure that up. I would have been hearing weird sounds. Like, a lot of white noise in my ears today. As Nikki Tutorials would say, it's trash until you add a lash. And she ain't wrong. So I just want to let them dry down a little bit because I do feel like this part here might be a little bit temperamental and might want to ping off so um we will leave them alone to dry down for a minute before i check them over and make sure they're okay if you haven't tried the rimmel thrill c cut lip glosses do not sleep on these lip glosses they are stunning like oh my god i cannot get enough of them they kind of remind me of their oh my gloss but amped up a little bit so I'm just using Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Kind of gone back to it, you know. I used to use this all the time and then I stopped using it. And here I am going back to it again. I think it's because I've just been using a lip liner and a lip gloss. So not all the time have I been putting anything in the center of my lips. I'm using the shade Pink Candy. And I cannot believe, speaking of candy, how flipping fast the year's gone. And we're nearly at Halloween. This year has gone crazy fast. One of my favourite lip shades from this Thrill Seeker range though is this one here, which is Berry Glace. And I know it looks really red, um, but it is so nice and it makes your lips look super, super juicy. I feel like I should have put that one on now to show you. Huh. All right, let me rub this one in and then I'll stick it on top. This is Pink Candy. She's cute. She's nice. She's day to day. <laughs> and then Berry Glace. Berry Glace. She is that girl. Look at the richness in that colour. It just makes your lip... Oh my god. No. Do not piss me off. That shade, Berry Glaze, is that girl. Okay, so whilst that bit is sticking down, I'm going to go on my Max Factor 2-in-1 mascara. And I'm just putting it onto the bottom of my lashes. I'm quickly going to go and sort my hair and I'll be back. Just gave the hair a little smooth in blow dry. Just before I wrap things up with this whole monthly favourites, I just wanted to mention some perfumes that I have been reaching for non-stop this month. This is the Kayali Oud Gasm range, and this one is the rose, and this one is the tobacco. Now, I feel like tobacco would be a little bit more of a selective scent for some people, but I feel like the rose oud will just appeal to so many people. It is so sexy, but so, like, mature. I can't even explain it. Like, this one is just so gorgeous and sexy and it just screams like elegance sexy elegance i know i don't know if i'm doing it any favors by how i'm describing it i have no idea i just wanted to mention them because you've got christmas coming up and if you wanted a new perfume to try or if you're going to anywhere that stocks them please 
rose oud and tobacco oud just give them a whiff the amount of times i've worn this and people have gone oh my god your perfume smells so nice and sometimes i feel like it's died down on me but everyone's like wow what perfume are you wearing and i'm like oh my god this really does linger it's just stunning they also have a vanilla oud one which is gorgeous too all of these products i have been loving and i definitely think my skin texture has really improved because of this product here but like the light bounces back on the skin so the skin just looks like super hydrated and healthy what do you think of the eyelashes though i feel like they're a little bit softer than what i actually thought they looked in the packet like in the packet i thought they'd be a bit more dramatic but actually on they're a little bit softer so let me know what you're thinking about those and i hope you can just see exactly why i'm loving all of these products don't forget to follow me on insta and tiktok and i hope your week is treating you well i'll see you very soon